bread and butter run. Come on. Probably can't tell, but uh, there's one hill. This is a hill on the uh, bread and butter run. It's probably quarter mile, maybe 150 feet of vertical, not much, but it's still a hill on my easier route. All right, up we go. Tip of the day, tip of the day. I live in a pretty simple neighborhood, nothing too fancy. About two miles away is a very fancy neighborhood. So tip of the day, look for fancy neighborhoods in your area and you might find not hiking trails, not running trails, horse trails. I've been running on this trail right here for years now and uh, I think I've seen maybe two horses my entire time. It's like perfect for running. So that's the tip of the day. Find the horse trails. Now you gotta make sure it's okay, you know, it's all right. You know, if it's a gated community, community you might wanna, you know, you might wanna back off, but this is not a gated community. It could be, but it's not. That's your tip of the day. All right, bread and butter tastes so good. Nice and easy, come on. <laughs> Now I'm ready for some bread and butter, but first, building the foundation. Nothing quite like a spaghetti dinner after a bread and butter run. I must say, uh, it's not easy. <laughs> Good question, babe. All right, back in the shed. I am so full. That was amazing. Spaghetti. You forget about spaghetti. It's a good meal. I feel like Italians and Italian food get a bad rap sometimes. Mwah! I love it. I love it. All right. I believe that every runner, every walker, every biker, should have a bread 
and butter root from their front door that they it's just their go-to course from their front door for running for walking for biking in my case it's running and today I took you on a little tour of my bread and butter route and this is the route that I run just to not have to think about the mileage I know exactly how far it is I know exactly how many hills there are I know exactly you just don't have to think about commuting there or uh, you know getting lost or any of that stuff or you know where the big dogs are although I almost did get bit last week Shh, don't tell anybody put that aside the bread and butter run it's just really important to have I think in your training regimen mentally so you don't have to think about logistics for running you just get out there and guess what your bread and butter run those oh hold on and we're back Okay, once you get those bread and butter miles in, you get your workouts in, and then you're ready for your races. But you can't run a race unless you run workouts, a fast race. You can't run workouts unless you run your bread and butter miles. So that course you just saw on your screen was some bread and butter miles. Uh, that's it, folks. We had a beautiful day. It's Friday. It's the weekend. Looking forward to uh, just relaxing and it's supposed to snow for the first time, like a real snow, three to six inches in Denver on Sunday. We'll see if that actually happens. See, beauty. Work hard. Love each other. Eat some Italian food, folks. Come on. Come on. Nothing wrong with that.